Hey everybody, Coach Dan here. Welcome back to the run experience. Listen, I know that speed work can be hard. We talk all the time about how that 80-20 rule, 80% of your running should be really easy, 20% of your running should be really hard. And I mean really hard. The thing about that really hard work is that it's the first thing to drop off for a lot of us. If we get too busy, we stop doing the speed work. If we start to get a little bit sick or we're feeling the training load, we stop doing the speed work. If we're a little bit time constrained, we stop doing the speed work. Because it's hard, we stop doing the speed work. Now, that can sort of cascade on itself, where you get in this habit of not doing the speed work. You're just doing some easy running. Maybe your hard workouts get a little bit easier. You don't go all out, even on that 20% of the time that you're supposed to. And so what I want to talk about today is how you get back to speed work after you've fallen off it. The reason I want to talk about this today is because I've fallen off it. I did some big running earlier in the year, and now I'm doing some shorter races. And the result of those shorter races is that I need to get some speed work in. And I found it really hard to transition back to speed work. So today, five ways to get back to doing those speed workouts. All right, the first rule is to ease yourself back in. I don't want you coming out of the blocks and just banging out a one kilometer tempo run. No, no, let's start with really short efforts. 10 seconds on, at least 20 seconds off, maybe as much as a minute off. And so what that means is I want you to run pretty hard, 70 to 80% effort for 10 seconds. This is sort of a fart lick style workout. So 10 seconds on and then really take some time off. I don't mean run slowly, I mean stop, walk a little bit, really take a break to let that heart rate come down. I want you to do maybe five of these. But first, before you do this, you've got to get to my second rule, which is warm up. Look, we've got tons of warm ups here on the channel. There's lots of warm ups on the app, but it is important that no matter which one you pick that you do in fact warm up before you get back to speed work. It's really, really easy to get hurt when you start running hard again for the first time in a long time. So take a bit of time, warm up, make sure you're ready. And then don't start that speed work right out of the blocks. Build it into a longer effort, an easy run that has these fart lakes, this workout, either at the end or somewhere in the middle. Number three, make sure you recover well. Now, this doesn't just mean in between those workouts, though I do mean that, but I mean afterward. Don't build in speed work on a Monday, as your first workout back, and then bang out another one on a Wednesday, that's really no good for you. Give yourself at least four days after that first workout. Make sure you've really done a good job of recovering to make sure that you're ready for action. This is super important. Let's give those muscles time to recover. But also, let's take a minute and make sure that you're not doing too much damage in these early speed works. If you've got any little niggles that come up, you wanna know about them and have time for them to recover or fix them. Uh, before you get back at it. Number four, don't overdo it. Like we're only talking about 10 seconds on, it's gonna start to feel a little bit good. Don't bang out more of these than you should in the first couple of weeks. Stick with these short interval workouts for at least two weeks of workouts. That's only four speed workouts, two a week. Don't jump ahead. Don't bang out that one kilometer threshold or tempo that we talked about on you know day 14. Let's really ease back into speed work. You can keep your total weekly mileage up to whatever you're comfortable with, but don't bang out a ton of speed work just because you've decided to get back into it and it feels good. So that brings me to the last one, maybe the most important one in some ways. When you get back into speed work, find the fun. Running fast is really, really fun. Think about being a kid and running all out as hard as you can after your pals or in a race with your friends. It is really, really, really fun. If you focus on the suffering of speed work, well, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get suffering, and that's fine too. But really, speed work can be the most fun workouts of the week. The hardest as well, but those two things aren't mutually exclusive. Listen, I read every comment that you post. I reply, you know, when I've got something to say. So check it out. There'll be a warm up video here in the top corner. Pick it up and enjoy it for your next speed workout. And most importantly, build that habit of speed work back into your weekly running. It'll help you become a better runner. It'll make you happier. It's great for you physically. Speed work is good.